What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler. And Zumi, and this video brought to you by Naples Rib Company. The scene is J-Town as the Panthers welcome in the Lakewood Lancers. A big game with a lot on the line. Lakewood, the definitive number two team in the Moore League. Jordan trying to get their second league win, still thinking about playoffs. And of course, Mac-10 loves those chucks right there as Jordan trying to get their second straight win at home. But the Lancers running game was very effective early uh, early on, wasn't it, Zumi? Yeah, a lot of things that everybody had expected out of Lakewood this year that just hadn't been able to be put together. And uh, Lakewood got the offense clicking early thanks to the ground game. Yeah, Kendall Rogers right here, a couple of tough runs, including this one. He punches in on the opening drive. It's 7-0 Lakewood, and obviously Xavier Shepard pretty turnt about it. And a kind of a different look for Jordan. They're in the Wildcat with the newly number one John Ross captaining it. They go to the no huddle, they go to the Wildcat trying to shake things up against Lakewood, catch him off guard, and just put the ball directly in Ross's hands. But that becomes a problem when you try to go down the field. Yeah, Darren Gardenhire with the pick, G-Man, getting up and getting that one, and that keeps the momentum with the Lakewood offense. Bell finds Jaron Scroggins right here, and Robert Burdett running this one up the middle. This would set up a one-yard touchdown plunge, 14-0 Lancers. On the other side, Ross showing his playmaking ability, but he just is unable to break it all the way, even though, oh my, some nasty moves, and he's just so slippery in the open field, showing why he was co-offensive player of the year in the Moore League last season. Let's take another look at that move. The juke followed by the spin that is nasty Zumi. that move we've seen ross make some version of it before <laughs> but that particular one had to be maybe the nastiest we've seen from him yet it was impressive and uh on the other side the lancers just imposing their will bell finding kennedy sykes huge uh, huge lanes through that jordan secondary then rages running hard it's a man's game and he was out there trying to prove a point tonight getting that running game going then bell hits g-man for the touchdown he was 14 of 20, was Bell, for 291 yards and two scores. 21-0 Lancers uh, starting to put it on him in J-Town. They'll try to go up with their last drive of the half one more time, but uh, Jordan comes up with a big sack, Terry Berry, bringing Bell down. So the clock expires on Lakewood's last attempt at a drive before halftime. And going into half, Jordan's really only down 21-0. Yeah, just need a big play, but no dice. Keenan Davis going up to get this interception. The whole defense says, we got the ball. That's right, they do got the ball. He says the Nooney to that deep pass, and then starting to get Xavier Shepard involved. Chris Bell had a lot of time to throw right there. That's his favorite wideout. He would find pay dirt a little bit later. But Rodgers going in for his second touchdown. He had 13 carries for 66 yards and three scores. Uh, it's just the running game Lakewood has been looking for all year. Yeah, these are big plays in the passing game, too that was just a post down the middle and uh, for some reason Lakewood hasn't been able to put it together until this game and there's another example of what Lakewood is capable of. Wow that's his best touchdown of the day for Rodgers. We need to discount double check on that touchdown. Oh look at the vertical into the end zone. Hashtag LB top 10. That's an early candidate and then Shepard showing off that Utah bound speed on an 80 yard touchdown just really adds that extra level of explosiveness to that Lancers offense when he's healthy. Yeah, that one's just a slant and you out uh, Jordan Jordan on that play. <laughs> yeah, and this is what Jordan has made famous, getting the ball to your playmaker in space. John Ross on the kickoff return. A couple of late touchdowns for the Panthers on special teams. Now Rashid Johnson, as time is expiring, I guess we'll call that a, a buzzer beater for the basketball player as he's able to find the end zone with no time left. You just, for Jordan, wish that these plays had come during meaningful minutes, not at the end of the game. Hopefully that'll help them moving forward to have a little more confidence. Final score, Lakewood 47, Jordan 12. Lancers lock up a playoff berth and prove themselves as the second place team in the league. While Jordan still in the playoff hunt, they gotta win the rest of their games though. This video brought to you in part by McCarty's Jewelry. You want coverage of the rest of the Moore League football season. You are already in the right spot, gazettesports.com.